congratulations on the show. Thank you very much. Uh, first, I was going to ask you, um, how was your experience in South by Southwest? That looked like a lot oh, of fun. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah, it was really, really fun. Um, one of the favourite bits is that the whole gang was there. So there's just this plethora of deities running around acting like complete dorks. But yeah, the actual um, place itself was amazing. Great atmosphere, um, such wonderful feedback and yeah, loads of fun. How did you uh, first get involved with the project? Were you a fan of the book beforehand or was it the script that got sent to you first? My initial introduction to the project was actually through the character of Tech Boy. So um, yeah, through the audition script um, last pilot season and then through that kind of used that as a springboard to get involved in Neil's material. So Neverwhere, Ocean at the End of the Lane is probably one of my other favourites and like, Anansi Boys. Yeah, no, so a springboard through the character and then obviously the book. We spoke to him a couple weeks ago, actually, Neil Gaiman. He was so excited that this was this was coming yeah. to fruition. Because sometimes you get people that write the books and then you know they're not so keen on you know being mentioned in a film or TV show. But he seems sure. so excited. That must be great being involved in something where the author is so excited. Yeah, absolutely. It's an absolute honour. And Neil is such a sweetheart and just one of the most viscerally pleasant and intelligent chaps alive. So after ten minutes of meeting him, you're like, yeah, you're on my fantasy dinner table list for the rest of time. <laughs> he's yeah, he's a wonderful chap. Tell us a little bit about the, the character you play, Tech Boy. What attracted you to him in the first place? Sure. So he's the god of technology and the internet. He's kind of the effigy and representation of our current relationship with technology, social media, and how it's integrating into our lives and how we're borderline addicted to it, the amount of devotion we show to it. And um, in terms of his role in the show, he's kind of the chap who's going to come in and very much ruin someone's day. Um, that's his general MO. He's operating on his own, own agenda, and beyond that, you'll have to wait and see. It looks like a, a huge production. I mean, we, I saw the, um, the opening credits, and even yes. those were just visually stunning. I mean, what was yeah, it like being, on, eh? being on set? And have you seen much of the show yet? Um, it was amazing being on the show. As you said, the scale is huge. It's a little army working on it, which is great. And the atmosphere created by Brian and Michael and David is um, just a trickle down of raw passion. And it's a lovely place to work. It really, really is. And um, so, yeah, so what was the question? So, the show, well, sorry, I, I trailed off. I can't remember what I asked now. <laughs> no? <laughs> I trailed off myself. I'll ask you another question this time. Cool, one. hit me with this it, one. let's roll. Uh, so I was going to ask you as well, with, obviously this is eight, eight, eight episodes, yep. uh, it's a third of the book, mm -hmm. are you ready to go back and do, do more if, they, if this is a success and they want to so, do more? So, so ready. Like this series has got major legs and we're hoping to run for as long as we can and uh, yeah, in a heartbeat I'll be back. Hope so. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.